Washington at 6, it's video that made headlines across the nation. A Valley doctor who showed up at Sky Harbor Airport with a semi-automatic rifle, and he's accused of pointing it at travelers. Well, today, Phoenix police gave back the gun to the man, and tonight he explains to ABC 15's Katie Connor why he still thinks that that stunt was a good idea. Hey, here we go. For six months, Peter Steinmetz Hello. has fought to get back his AR-15. Right here. Even though it's back in his hands now, Alrighty. it's not in the same condition as it was back in July when he was caught on camera twice walking around Sky Harbor Airport with his AR-15 strapped to his body. But in November, the county attorney dropped charges. I certainly didn't expect it to be that big a deal. Steinmetz says he did not want to scare anyone, rather make a point that TSA is intrusive and Americans have a right to bear arms. We do have a right to bear arms, but this is, you know, 2015, post 9-11. We're on high edge, especially with everything that's going on in the Middle East right now. Do you think that it's appropriate, though, to bring an AR-15 into the airport? Absolutely. I think as a demonstration, it, it makes the point very powerful. That, look, these are irrational or unfounded fears. Even though Steinmetz has his AR-15 back, he can't pull the same stunt at Sky Harbor for two years. When those two years are up, we'll see where the movement is, and uh, I may be back. Steinmetz made a deal with the county attorney to avoid the charges. He has to complete an NRA course, donate $500 to a youth program, and lastly, he can't openly carry a firearm at four major airports in Maricopa County for two years. In Phoenix, Katie Connor, ABC 15 News.